we're gonna make a rotisserie tri-tip. It's not very common. This tri-tip, really nice marble, as you can see. So whenever you go to the store, get the one that has the most fat in it. It's gonna give you a really juicy tri-tip. We're gonna put some of the rotisserie, like I said, right on the primo. Get a little olive oil, just as a binder. You wanna slather it on both sides really well. Okay, now we're gonna use uh, Pappy smoked salt. And this one is smoked with pecan wood. And right off the bat, you can tell it smells incredibly good. So I wanna thank Pappy's for sponsoring this video. Now I wanna hit it with the salt real well. It's like a coarse salt, so you're not gonna over salt it. Unless you pour the whole bottle, then you know. You wanna salt all sides. Okay, just like so. Once you do that, we are gonna hit it with our seasoning. Just like that, add it in, don't rub it. So here on the seasonings, I got some ancho chili, paprika, garlic, and onion powder, and some uh, black pepper. Wanna mix it all up, combine it well. It's gonna give us a nice crust on the outside. Now you wanna hit it with that seasoning all over. Just like so. We're gonna make sandwiches out of this. I'm gonna use my meat slicer, slice it super thin. All right. As you can see, the tri-tip has two grains. One runs this way, the other one this way. So we are going to be cutting it against the grain, but I'll show you that at the end product. All right, let's put it on our skewer here, or our rotisserie. Okay, just like that. Be careful, don't get stabbed. I'm gonna be using my meter, a wireless thermometer. You wanna insert this in the thickest part, just like that. Cool, now I'm gonna be uh, pulling this off when it reaches an internal temperature of 110 degrees. Put our tri tip in. All right, let's make a sauce. We're gonna make chimichurri sauce. This from Argentina. I mean, I don't, I'm not gonna claim it's authentic, but you know, it's as good as it gets. So I got parsley here. I'm gonna use everything. Then we got about three, but these are pretty big garlic cloves. Just gonna throw this in the food processor. Got oregano and I have some chili flakes. Oregano, you can get it fresh. I believe that's how they put it in usually, but I didn't have any. Now we're going to be doing some apple cider. It is red wine vinegar, but like, again, I don't have, you know, I didn't get some of that at the store. Put a little bit, maybe about two tablespoons, just like so. And then we're going to put about a quarter cup of olive oil. Okay, we got it all blended up. Pour it all in. I like to add the salt towards the very end. This way, I don't over salt it. So black pepper. Like so. And then we're gonna hit it with that smoked salt. Okay. Okay, we just pulled it off. It reaches around 110. Gonna tint it in foil. Do not pull the rotisserie stick out. You're gonna leak out all the juices. All right, so I'm gonna cut the tri right in the center. Pulled it off, it already rested about 15 minutes. See how we did. Nice and juicy. Pull it off around 115, let it rest for about 15. So now we're gonna get our meat slicer. I'm gonna slice it super thin. All 
All right, let's assemble this. Oh, well, I'm just gonna do an open face sandwich. Super thin tri-tip, just like that. We're gonna top it off with that chimichurri sauce. So I'm using sourdough bread, slightly toasted. Just re-season it a little with the smoked salt, just because tri-tip doesn't get salted all the way through, unless you salt it overnight. Then, just like that, hit it with a little bit of that chimichurri. Or a lot, whatever you prefer. All right, let's give this a try. Thanks for making it towards the end. Very simple, looks real good. That is so good. Thanks so much for watching. You can find Pappy's Smoked Salt, link in my description box. And once again, thanks Pappy's for sponsoring this video. This came out absolutely fantastic. Go ahead and give it a go.